evening. It's 6 o'clock on Thursday, June 8th, 2017. Welcome, and thank you for joining us tonight for the English edition of War News, where we bring you today's top stories, translated into English every weeknight. War News publicized the second poll conducted by the Italian company IPR Marketing in cooperation with Ora News TV. The poll was conducted in three cities, in Elbasan, Fier, and Duras. According to the poll, the Socialist Party, headed by Prime Minister Eddie Rama, will receive 54.7% of votes in the city of Fier, which are nine seats in Parliament. The Democratic Party will receive 24.7% of votes, which are four to five seats in Parliament. According to the poll, the Socialist Movement for Integration will receive 9.6% of votes in Fier, which are one to two seats in Parliament. The poll reveals that the Labour Party will receive 3.6% of votes and the Party for Justice, Integration and Unity will receive 3% of votes. In Duras, the races are a little bit stronger. According to the poll, the Socialist Party will receive 42.5% of votes, which are six seats in Parliament. The Democratic Party will receive 35.5% of votes in Duras, which are five seats in Parliament. The Socialist Movement for Integration has a slight increase and is predicted to receive 12% of votes, which are two seats in Parliament. The Liber Party will receive 3.1% of votes in Duras, and the Party for Justice, Integrity, and Unity will receive 3% of votes in Duras. In El Blasan, the Socialist Party will receive 49.5% 40, of votes, which are seven seats in Parliament. The Democratic Party will receive 29.5% of votes, which are four seats in Parliament. The Socialist Movement for Integration will receive 10% of votes, which are two seats in Parliament. According to the poll, the Party for Justice, Integrity, and Unity will receive 5.5% of votes in El Basan, which does not guarantee any seats in Parliament. The Libra Party will, also receive, will only receive 3% of votes. Nationally, the poll revealed that the Socialist Party will remain the first political party with 45% of votes. The Socialist Party has a slight increase with 2% compared with the first poll of May 31st. The Democratic Party also had an increase with 1%, going to 37%. The same increase is for the Socialist Movement for Integration, which according to the poll will receive 13% of votes. The Labour Party and the Party for Justice, Integrity and Unity have preserved the same percentage of votes, staying at 2%. When, they, when asked whether they will go to vote, 59.1% of Albanian people said yes, which is a lower percentage compared to the first poll when 62.1% of Albanians said they will vote on June 25th. 33.7% of Albanian people said they will not go to vote on June 25th, and 7% of Albanians have not yet made a decision whether or not they will go to vote. The Albanians were also asked about their pre preferences about the coalition that the parties may create. 35.5% of Albanians think that none of the parties will alone receive 71 seats in Parliament. This is mostly, this is mostly though, by 57.2% of the SMI supporters. Meanwhile, 70.3% of socialists think the Socialist Party will receive 70 seats in Parliament. Only 37.6% of the Democratic Party supporters think that the DP will receive over 70 seats in Parliament. And none of the SMI supporters think that the Socialist Movement for Integration will receive over 70 seats in Parliament. 19.3% of citizens have said they would prefer an alliance between the Socialist Party and the Socialist Movement for Integration in order to form the government, and this is supported by 40.9% of socialists and 54.8% of the SMI supporters. 15% of citizens would prefer a coalition between the SP and the DP. 9.2% of citizens would prefer an alliance between DP and SMI, and only 5.7% would prefer an alliance between the SP, DP, and SMI. 50.8% of citizens have not expressed any opinion about any possible coalition. The next poll of IPR Marketing and Aura News will be broadcasted on June 14th. Prime Minister Eddie Rama was in Saran today, where he said that the project of urban renaissance has caused direct employment and a better life for citizens, even though it is strongly criticized by the opponents. Prime Minister also commented on the lawsuit of the union judges and the Association of Judges against the judi judicial reform. The Prime Minister said that the fear from justice has prompted the corrupt judges to appeal the laws and added that the Socialist Party will fight until the end for the judicial reform, declaring, the, un the association and union of judges have appealed vetting saying it is unconstitutional. Can you understand this? Eight judges who are afraid to prove they have no connection with the organized crime want to remove the laws? 
Prime Minister also asked the citizens vote in order to do more for the country, saying, four years ago, I asked for your vote in order to do what was not made in a quarter century. Now I'm asking for your vote in order to do in order to govern alone and to do four times of what we have done in 44 months. The Democratic Party chairman, Lulzim Basha, held a meeting with some farmers in Korch, where he implied that he may hold a meeting with the U.S. President, Donald Trump. The secret of the DP chairman was revealed by a farmer who told the DP chairman to convey their concerns to the U.S. President when he meets with him. Speaking against his political opponent, Mr. Basha had this to say. I am curious to know who told you that I will meet with President Trump. Do not make our secrets public because Eddie Rahm will be upset because he, he could not meet with him. According to the DP chairman, the Prime Minister and the chairman of the Socialist Movement for Integration exchange accusations with each other as their bargains have broken. Mr. Basha promised support to the agricultural sector and added that the Democratic Party's program includes 100 million euro subventions for agriculture and also promised the removal of the oil tax. The DP chairman said that the opposition's program is realistic and will take the Albanian economy out of the crisis. Mr. Basha accused the Prime Minister of aiming to remove the attention from the failure, poverty, crimes, which, according to the DP chairman, have caused economic collapse in Albania. The Socialist Movement for Integration organized a meeting with women in Kuchova today, where the SMI candidates for this area were presented. During their meeting, the SMI MP Silva Tsaka emphasized that employment and education will focus on the SMI's program in the coming four years, stating, the Socialist Movement for Integration has prepared an extraordinary program for the coming four years. Employment is the first point of the program. The SMI has an extraordinary plan for the education of our children so that they do not feel inferior to their pre peers all around Europe. The SMI's candidate for MP in the city of Kuchov Kuchova declared that the Socialist Movement for Integration is the only party that has a concrete program, saying, the SMI is the only party with a concrete program for women's integration and their empowerment. SMI will be the first political party in Kuchov and all around Albania. On June 25th, you will vote for the Socialist Movement for Integration, giving yourself an opportunity for employment. We should end destabilization because it is the, it's the time the SMI rules the country. You will vote for the SMI in order to give a chance to yourself, to your family, and a change to Albania. Former SMI chairman Ilir Meta and other SMI candidates were present in the electoral meeting of Kuchov. The chairman of the Libra party, Ben Blushi, continues with his campaign, 100 kilometers door to door. Today, he was at the Don Bosco area where he met with some residents of this area where he promised to support the disabled. We will not allow that corrupt state officials and administrations intervene to the budget planned for the disabled. Stealing from the disabled is the biggest sin, and this, and this government, and the former government, has made constantly. They have stolen from the disabled. This practice will come to an end. Every person who will touch what the disabled deserve to take will be punished. The chairman of the newly created Libra Party was accompanied by his supporters and distributed the program of his party. Two days before the inauguration of Skanderbeg Square, Toronto's mayor, Erion Veliai, has shared with the citizens some of the details from the reconstructed square, such as the stones, the fountains, and the green areas. The mayor added the city hall has received an invitation from the Chicago Biennial to present the square as one of the best architecture projects in the world, declaring, for the first time, we have a square which in total has more green areas. Each time a good work is done in the capital, there are accusations. If the accusations were to come from some experts, we would listen to them, but the accusations come from those who did not do anything for four years. I have the same answer to them as when we constructed the playground at the lake. Let them come at the square, and they will see the most beautiful square, not in Europe, but in the world. The mayor also spoke of his work for two years and presented his vision to intervene in the infrastructure, his projects for the playgrounds, and investments in the educational institutions. That's all for our English edition this evening. Please join us again Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. for your local news in English. My name is Cosmo K, and on behalf of Or News, thank you and good night.